welcome to another vlog. I've got some iced coffee here in my mug, and I'm just sitting down now to start the new Jennifer McMahon book, The Children on the Hill. I'm very excited. She is like my current new favorite author. I've read three of her books and have loved every single one. Well, two. This is the third one, um, and have loved every single one. So I can't wait to do a book talk on this. Apparently, it's based or inspired by Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. So that's interesting. I thought I'd show you two of my new flowers here. They came from a fundraiser at my daughter's school. She's graduating this year, and they were doing a grad fundraiser. And they're just so cute. They're in a little watering can. And then it's three separate plants inside. So after I can repot them into three different pots. Just chopping up a few mushrooms now because I'm getting ready to get some chili going in the crock pot. That's like tomatoes and spices. Do you put mushrooms in your chili? I didn't for the longest time and now I just like getting veggies put in wherever. So in they go. <laughs> all right, so it's all in there, ready to simmer now for, simmer and cook for a few hours. Trixie's down there having some water. Um, and we'll see how it looks then. Here it is now after a couple hours. I wish you could smell it because it smells so good. I thought I'd come now and end this vlog. I've really been enjoying making these kind of slice of life short little vlogs where I just share some of my day with you and then sit and talk. So if you like them, I'm gonna keep on doing them. So as you just saw in that little sort of montage right before this, I went to lunch today with so many of my favorite people in the whole world. Um, my daughter was there, my sister, my niece and nephew, and then my Aunt Carolyn, who if you saw my last vlog, you heard that she was coming to town and I was very excited about it. So I've got to see her now a few days in a row and today we got to go to lunch and it was just wonderful. We went to the Honey Pot, which is this just delightful local eatery that serves sort of like, um, you know, pub food, burgers, sandwiches. I had a, a lobster grilled cheese sandwich that had mozzarella cheese and spinach and it was so good and I had that with sweet potato fries and it was just amazing. So now I'm just home. I was working on my book. At first I thought, you know what, I'm going to finish this vlog tomorrow. Forget about it tonight. But I was sitting, I was writing, I was working and then I got to a bit of a stall and I thought, you know what, just go finish the vlog, then you can come back to this fresh. So that's what we're doing here. So as you saw earlier in the vlog, this morning I started the um, new Jennifer McMahon book, The Children on the Hill. I'm about three chapters in at this point and I'm enjoying it. Jennifer McMahon writes in such a way that is so easy to read, so compulsively readable, and the stories are amazing. This is my third one. <laughs> if you've been around my channel for a while and you walk my, watch my book content, you for sure heard me talking about her at length multiple times. Her book, The Invited, I love. Her book, The Drowning Kind, love. <laughs> so I know she had some out before those two, um, so I gotta go back. I checked out The Invited originally because my friend, my dear librarian friend Kim, um, posted about it or shared a what's coming up post with me. And um, as soon as I read it, I was like, yes, please, because it was a haunted house story. Um, but instead of what if you moved into a haunted house, it's like, what if you built one? And I loved it. And so then when I saw her, um, next book after that, The Drowning Kind, which is about two sisters. It's got some magical realism in it. It's so good, and I loved it so much. So now we're on to The Children on the Hill, 
and I have high expectations. <laughs> Um, also, what I'm going to be starting to read soon, this was lent to me by a friend over the weekend. So I was visiting with her and we were talking about the comedian Jenny Slate. I don't know if you're familiar with her or not, but she's this woman comedian that's just so funny. She does a lot of voiceover work in like um, sort of adult animation, um, like Bob's Burgers and I think Big Mouth and a bunch of other things. But um, I just love her comedy so much. I love her so much. Um, her personality is just so, um, endearing. I just, I think she's really funny. Anyway, we were talking about her, and so my friend asked, have you read her book, Little Weirds? And I said, no, so she's like, you have to borrow it. So this is it here. It's called Little Weirds. <laughs> like, that's such a cute title. And it's kind of just like, um, short personal essays that are funny. So... Um, I'm sort of reading this a few at a time while I'm diving into the novel. <laughs> I don't really have a ton of other things to talk about because there's not been much going on aside from visiting with Carolyn and um, my mom. Um, now that she's out, I guess I can share a bit with you. Um, she's been having a bit of a rough time over the last few months and um, she actually ended up in the hospital with a very bad infection. And she was in the hospital for three weeks, which like in this day and age when with COVID and everything and anytime you go to see a doctor, they're pushing you out of there as quick as possible because they don't, you know, they're very overwhelmed in the hospitals. The fact that they admitted her for three weeks tells you what kind of infection we were dealing with here. And it was in her bone and at one point in her blood and she's home now. <laughs> and of course that's, the reason why my aunt is here to help care for her now that she's home because she still has I think three or four weeks I think three weeks um, of IV antibiotics which she can now take at home with Carolyn's help and it's just <sighs> it was really scary for a while it got really really scary but she's home now and she's doing so much better and she looks and sounds so much better and I'm gonna cry if I talk about it too much <laughs> Um, but we're just very thankful that she's home and she's doing okay. So I just thought I would update you about that a little bit. Other than that, I'm trying to think of um, what other things are going on. Nothing. Nothing else is going on. Working on my book, spending time with family, and visiting with friends, and that is it. But um, those are all the best things, isn't it? So... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go work on my book and then get to bed. But uh, let me know in the comments down below how are things going for you? How are things? <laughs> Just tell me how things are and I will see you again. Probably the next thing you'll see from me is the Jennifer McMahon book topic. If I had to uh, make a guess, I would guess that's what's coming. So you got that to look forward to. Anyway, thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you again real soon. Bye.